Musa will handle a lot of the point guard duties. She goes down low. Faith Masonis, and she has her first collegiate points. Freshman to freshman on that connection. Reverse layup. Looks like she could do that in her sleep, eyes closed. And she gets to steal here. Defense to offense again, maybe, for the Terps. She takes it herself, finds Abusu down low. Up with it, no good. Austin, the rebound, put back, is good. She and Cowan, the only Wagner Seahawks with more than two points. Kyla Charles now gets into double figures. The block from Austin. Abusu pushes the temple, finds Diamond Miller. Nice ball moving down low to Kyla Charles. I think the foul was on the floor. Miller got fouled on the pass. Go inside, it's McBride has it blocked. Masonis again. Oh, that every time Delaware's tried to drive inside, it's rejection after rejection. Maryland's most reliable shooters from deep. She's really been hitting on all cylinders tonight so far. Masonis has a three and cashes in there. Miller now to Stephanie Jones at the top. Mike Sell hands off, feet inside on the doorstep. What a path pass by Masonis. Well, with a few exceptions around the country, aren't going to be as deep and aren't really going to be able to keep up with them late in games. Another nice little scoop pass by Mike Selta Masonis at a three-point play. 30 seconds to go here in the opening half. Masonis with the dish to Stephanie Jones for the finish. That happens when it's the next one. On a double-double. We see the her career. Found it again. Look what I found. And every time Maryland has pushed it, the Wolverines have found an answer tonight. Did tie this game at 34. Mike Sell and the three-point drought for the game has finally ended. Another takeaway for the Buckeyes, and then Maryland gets it right back. Masonis with the lead pass and one. This is a great play right here. Maryland does a good job of getting back in transition. Look at Masonis, head up. Gets the ball to the middle of the floor, and Jones runs her lane hard. It's a great job to finish with contact. Andrews was wide open there in the corner, and that lined up the perfect shot for her. As we mentioned, she has a history of great, a great three-point shot. Charles had to pick up the dribble right there, passes it down low. Maryland puts up the shot, and it's good. Mike Sell able to keep it in on the near sideline. Feed down low, Masonis brings it down. Bounce pass, Jones is in. Two great offensive plays back to back for Maryland. Here's Satterfield. He's trying to drop it off to Patty. Yeah, but Blair Watson is within a foot, so that's not going to be a viable option. Masonis, a great assist to Jones. Maryland defensively is season nine blocks here tonight. Watson. How about that up and under move? Masonis getting it to fall. She was just ridiculously efficient and all over the glass as she's been since the freshman year. Masonis hits the three. Those are just the scoring numbers in conference play with, with those players. And what doesn't show is, 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 you said, all the other things that Kyla Charles does. Kathleen sure. Doyle also leading the lead. They're in a dogfight with Penn State midway through the late in the second quarter, excuse me. Inside, Jones takes the lead right back. At one point, Penn State had four freshmen out there. McDaniel throws to nobody, and here comes Maryland. But that shows where Penn State is and the potential this team has. They have so many young contributors. This is the type of basketball, the juice, the team that we really want. Long jumper goes for Masonis. 74% from the line. They've done it every fashion imaginable. Miller open for three. Offensive board. Masonis fouled and one. Has a chance for a three point play. Off the rebound, was able to get around both Smith and Camden. Gets the board and puts it up at the right, rattles it in. It's right in front of that StubHub sign uh, directly across from us. They're getting dangerously close to eight second violations. Beautiful dime down low, and it finds Charles for an easy lay. It's been a struggle getting the ball over half court at times. Masona spinning, faking, down low, dime for Charles. What a dime. I think Maryland team might have just heard you there. Here come the Badgers, and Maryland's like, nope. Oh, that is clinical from Owusu. The jump stop. Old announcers jinx as they turn it right over as I say that. 
of course, but hey, they're still, uh, they've won this half so far. The lefty Vujicic, no. Charles down low, collects, and scores. Some other uh, mid-majors to keep an eye on. How about Princeton, 24 and one under your uh, former bud from Connecticut, Carla Barubi. I can't say enough about it. Missonis, one of the other freshmen, somehow find Mike Sell in the corner. It's her first three-point make of the night. And Maryland gets the stop. Six straight possessions now. Ohio State has come up empty. Missonis, good look to Jones. Christy, you mentioned her numbers. She's the leading rebounder already here for Maryland and the second leading scorer here already as Collins gets it to go come back and then display this kind of confidence level. The ability to score on all three levels has been fun to watch. Reverse for Miller. Kozlova catches it, now to Collins. Deep two, off the front iron. One-handedly rebounded by Masonis. Great pass inside to Mimi Collins, who finishes down low again. Slowing it down for the offense for Maryland with a large lead. Bounce pass to Masonis now inside. Miller, great look, and a bucket for Diamond Miller. Just a little one-four flat action here, trying to get a little ball screen from Faith Masonis. Masonis with the spin, <laughs> and two. With the whistle. Here we go back to Masonis' bucket. Yeah, let me see this. Faith Masonis right here. Oh, oh look at the. Yeah, I thought that was an interesting comparison between the two. Here's Owusu, with Benson bringing it up this time. Owusu a little bit of the off guard, and they feed again down low that time for Bibby. Just look at Chloe Bibby right here on this left block. She's going to get position and then wrap around and get it on the interior. No help side available. I guess a positive from fans not being able to be in the gym is we can hear every single thing the players are saying. Their communication, just how much they talk. Benson on the back porch to put it in. She got fouled and was yelling out, and one, and the teammates were looking at her like, who is this young, you know, supposed to be in high school young lady, you know, who's bringing all this energy and, and confidence to the table? Mimi steps into one, short, and Faith Masonis with the offensive rebound and put that to end the third quarter. Owusu cut off. It leaves Masonis open, and she swirls one in. Maryland's ability to play as a team. We talk about balance scoring. Owusu draws through two green jerseys, and that leaves Masonis open for being able to adjust the way they have so quickly. Masonis with another offensive rebound off the Bibby miss. Benzin left alone, and that's a free throw. For if anybody comes in a rank, you guys have done a great job taking them out. So it's been a really impressive season for Nebraska in that sense. Collins off the glass, and what hustle by Masonis. Has found those avenues where she wants to speak out. Here's Chloe Bibby. Off the front rim, offensive rebound, Faith Masonis. She steps underneath for the reverse around the world. No doubt about it. Hallie Douglas, with that great block a moment ago, steps aside. And how about the turnaround move by Faith Masonis to put Maryland up 31. That the weight room uh, became a thing for me in college. That was much needed. It's really necessary to hang in the Big Ten. And Benson, what more can you say? Six three pointer. Now down to 90 seconds left. Kozlova. Off the rim, offensive rebound, Masonis. And Diamond Miller puts it in. Getting after it on those offensive rebounds, falling out of bounds and finding her teammate. I mean, that's some want to. She loves it too. I love the energy. Pro tip you don't have to move your head as you count. Nice feed inside of Lusu on the feed from Masonis and two more for Maryland. Post pass a moment ago. Look at Masonis, just the vision over the top of her defender and Owusu knows that she's going to have a wide open lane cutting down, coming off that screen from Collins. Kane doesn't help and there's no help defense on that. With the little spin and pull up and Maryland starting to stretch that lead again and now a Nebraska turnover. Masonis will push it up the floor. Four on two, Masonis. Want to try to create those second chance opportunities, hunting down low, trying to get some points for the Illini. Masonis backs her way into the post and a pretty spin move for the sophomore, Faith Masonis. Moravich over to the left side to Strandy. 
Strandy, pull up jumper, 12 feet on the baseline, no good. Bibby bats the rebound out to Masonis. Two on one for the Terps. Masonis gives over to Owusu for the easy lay in. Smith with the ball right side in front of the Maryland bench. Pounce down in the corner to Scania. Bibby dribbling out front, goes down low to Masonis. Masonis spin move. Oh, beautiful pass over to Styles. Bounds pass goes to Powell. Powell drives into the lane, slips to the floor. She's still lying on the floor. Long outlet pass up ahead to a wide open Chloe Bibby who lays it in for the easy buck. Worked in the Orioles system before getting out of uh, minor league baseball altogether. Pass in going inside for Minnesota, stolen away by Faith Masonis. Goes out to Katie Bent. The shot clock again hits 10. Dumbia tries to dunk the ball down low and it's intercepted. Purdue's eighth turnover. Long pass down to Owusu. Owusu with the reverse layup. Good. And she thought she was fouled there by Brooke Moore as well. Masonis comes down in transition. Masonis spins away to her knees, gets it off to Reese. Reese back inside to Masonis, who pump fakes, lays it up, and scores and draws the foul. Just really think that she gives, just gave that team a little bit of a momentum lift. Boilermakers have the ball to start the fourth quarter, trailing 64-41, and they turn it over. Madison Layden with a bad pass. Maryland coming three on one. Masonis to Miller, and she lays it in. And an intercepted, yes. Masonis coming down. Masonis ahead of the pack, lays it in. Or take the lead. Maryland led by as many as nine with two and a half to go in the first half. I think there was a layup to be had. Lauren Satterwhite pulled up a little short. You know I love the mid-range, but that was a, a tough shot for Northwestern starting the second half. Better ball movement. Actually, Owusu so good, but this is what they do. Our ESPN bracketologist in our first half, especially during a slower part of the game, that, that kind of worked out well. I don't know how many interviews you and I have done <laughs> where we've got many. ladies running up and down the floor. Somebody dunks. Somebody goes on a 13-0 run in a minute. Maryland, they may have this lead, but they need to continue to work on their execution, and that's what you want to see. And these players have fallen right into place in that regard. Here's the first bucket for Zoe Young, who's come off the bench. Katie Benson. With a knee injury, had missed last season because of a knee injury as well, but she is a five assist player. Yeah, they could have had three point guards. They did have three point yes. guards on this roster as Bibby picks up another two. For one, Chloe Bibby. Right here, you see Faith Masonis finding Bibby right down in the middle of the paint. Shaw's got some really good early minutes here for Northwestern again. Coming off the bench, she had missed considerable time with a lower body injury. A reverse, and it drops there for Chloe Bibby. Weak side, and the next time down, she gives it up and then gets it back. Again, great cut. That's why she's National Coach of the Year this year, not just tactically speaking, but also on the emotional side for these players as well. The three falls for Masonis. Decided to come back out and reset it. Part of a 9 nothing run here for Maryland. Reese draws the contact and gets it to drop for the N1. She does such a nice job of not only running the team when she needs to play the point guard spot, but she's quick. Oh, that's a tough shot. Asona is able to hit it over Clark. Asona's really posting up hard. Bibby left open on the double team, and Asona's found her. It has been all turfs. Inside out, touches, sharing the ball. And how about Bibby? Great basketball family. You mentioned Stacy Freeze in a. She was a tremendous talent at Iowa State. The family's from the Cedar Rapids, Iowa area. Bibby has hit a couple of buckets here. It's just wow, especially when you look at the depth of this league and you know, for Maryland to emerge. I mean, this team you're watching today, this is a number one seed, in my opinion. On this team who are in the top 10 all time in points per game, field goal percentage, free throw percentage, assists, and blocks. As Awusu lets fly the long two. With the shot clock expiring, Masonis with the offensive rebound. And Reese gets the and one. Sellers dribbles through the traffic. Excellent day for her in her Maryland debut. 15 points, gets it inside to Owusu. Couple of bites at the apple, can't get it to go now. Masonis, and one. And it took multiple attempts from the terms. Owusu goes up, doesn't get it. Owusu goes up again, doesn't get it. 
throws it up. Masonis there, right place, right time for the M1. And Kyla McMakin still leading all scorers. And over 20. And Maryland getting back on the board the other way, though, with Angel Reese. Up next for Longwood, matchup against Stony Brook back at home as they will be playing their first home game of the season. And it's taken right back away by Faith Masonis. All alone, Faith Masonis for two. And again, scoring 21 points in the opening 10 minutes. They did that on Tuesday. Inside, here's Reese, and she gets the easy layup. Better pass. But Angel Reese stayed with it. That never hit the baseline. I think Rutgers thought it hit it twice. They never picked up the ball. Sellers, down low, spinning. Masonis, kick out, bends in. Bullseye! Tied ball game in College Park, Katie Benson. And you'll see here Harden got good position early, but this is the move from Masonis, the kick out to Benzin. It's picked away by Owusu and almost stolen by Masonis, but back into the hands of Purdue. And Masonis blocks it away into the hands of Owusu. Over the top, on one bounce, in stride. Shot clock down to five. Beal can't hit. Masonis leads it out to Myers. Beal's an excellent defender, but Myers an excellent finisher. Quick transition for the Terps. Here's Briggs. Kicks it back to Masonis. Masonis for three. Got it. Early bucket for Faith Masonis. Here's Diamond Miller. Inside for Masonis. Good look to Sellers. Oh, -ho, Cheyenne Sellers off a pretty feed for the Terps. And here's that little touch pass from Masonis. What a finish from Cyan Sellers. Terps up 14 here in the Xfinity Center. Can't get it to fall. Got her own rebound. Kicked it out to Masonis. She goes hard into the paint. She's double teamed. Finds Alexander for two points. Myers. They go down low to Masonis. Masonis, nice pass. And a reverse layup by Pinzon is good. Faith Masonis for Maryland tore her ACL last year. So a lot better shooting to start the second half for both teams. Masonis goes inside to Sellers. She puts it up and in. Will flow both on their transition offense and setting up in. Point guard dishing it out for the Huskers. Now the Terrapins on the other end. Faith Masonis, count it, plus the horn. Masonis with a big bucket here as well, a little jab step. Runner with the up and under. Draws the second foul on Markowski early on in the second quarter. That could be big. Lavender Briggs gonna try and reverse that on this possession. Brene Alexander gets the ball back. Good aggressive play from her inside the paint and the reverse layup from Faith Masonis goes. Briggs. Masonis comes crashing in, a second opportunity counted and the foul of contact, the forward dives on the floor for loose ball, sets great screens. All the little things that don't always show up in the stack. Playing with three fouls. And a turnover. Back to Maryland, a chance to take the lead. Briggs lays it home. Beautiful job. Faith Masona, save it out of bounds, get the ball down the floor. Briggs with the finish. We got ourselves a ball game. Only player in the starting lineup that would be still in the starting lineup if everyone was healthy. <laughs> Pull up is good from Masonis. Myers still defending Barovic closely. Barovic just has to fling the ball up and misses the shot. Pins on a nice bounce pass to Faith Masonis who gets the and one. Some magnifying glasses on because she is finding the smallest of windows. And this time it's Faith Masonis who gets rewarded by one of the great passes from Pinzon. Take a pass to make a pass and get that ball where you want it to go. The pick and roll, Masonis goes up to get it and she finishes on the left side too. Well, Brenda Fries calls Faith Masonis the mom of the team. She is just all about togetherness and fierceness. Well, they need to put that ball in there to her. Look at Diamond Miller trying to get fancy. Masonis going inside Myers all by herself. Miscued defensively by Rutgers at the free throw line. And the second one rims out. Briggs grabs the board. Back behind everyone is Bree McDaniel and one. Sess doing that 
now with 11 fast break points, perfectly placed pass, and great execution on the move. You're going 100 miles an hour. Osmond trying to get it back to Hageman in the corner. She puts it inside. They've been trying to feed Alexander, and it's just not working after those first two buckets. This is Myers' transition. Yeah, really getting out in transition. Here's Faith Masonis with a steal, giving it to Elisa Pinzon. Finds Abby Myers to Lavender Briggs for the easy two. Great no-look pass from Pinzon to Myers to Briggs. We're going to break Maryland up five here on Big Ten Plus. Stead opted to give it to Hageman. This is taken away, Masona sticking with it, giving it off to Myers. No look pass and putting it in. It's Just active hands in the lanes. We talked about Faith Masonis' energy, her effort at the defense event, tips it to herself, gets it to Sellers, who sees Lavender Briggs and then ends up making the no look pass for the easy bucket. As this half is coming, excuse me, this quarter coming to a close, this is Osmond to the corner. Joiner, she's got it in the face of Masonis. Michael working inside, that pass intercepted by Masonis, who's gonna give it up to Sellers. Sellers, no look pass to Miller. And you call on your grad student from Harrison, New York, Avery LaBarbera to make it count. Absolutely, Sellers passes it down to Masonis. Masonis, what a layup there. She's working hard. Nice move inside of the bucket by Faith Masonis. Picking up her second foul. Great move, great footwork. Masonis had a torn ACL last January. It wouldn't be the people that followed, and so I do appreciate that, and thank you so much. If, you not, if not for them, right, Kara? Absolutely. For them. Absolutely. Yeah, thank well, you. It's so nice you to join us. Thank you. We're on the sideline. They are touching the bottom of her back, a little bit of a, of a limp. Usually you have a benchmark. We don't want to have more than 10 or 12 turnovers. And they have already. Well, and it's leading to points, right? Half of Maryland's points tonight. Then the turnovers have kicked in. Turks have forced 18 Michigan turnovers. Great bounce pass. Myers on the receiving end. But she's struggling, on, and right now on both sides of the floor. Oh, a nice slip. A lot more easily. But it's tough to lob that thing over, especially when that back nine is coming. Great cut, movement without the basketball. They play a 2-2-1, three-quarter court press. And Carolyn Keever told us that's just to contain. We're not trapping in that. We just want to slow Maryland down because Maryland plays at such a frenetic pace. And Clark described how when she grew up, she would cry every time her team lost. As Sellers finishes, nice delivery from Masonis. Just one of 12 from three, though, and Myers is two of 12 from the floor. Sonano tried to get it into Stolke. It's stolen by Maryland. Miller in transition. What a Euro! It's not going to sell a call. You're getting it one way or another. We need you healthy. Yeah, when she would drive and trying to get yep. the call and ended up landing on the ground. Oh, Sellers was able to separate using her strength. One thing that's hurt their offense in the second half has been the turnover. Yes. Warnock. There it is. Another one. Still time for Maryland in this game. Sellers, Euros, got fouled, puts it in. One in three women be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. We certainly all have been affected by it in some way, shape, or form. Support the KL Cancer Fund in partnership with the WBCA and the V Foundation. Here's Sellers to Myers. Sellers open, four, three. It is off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound, Faith Masonis. Great pass to Sellers from Faith Masonis. Going two free throws. Here's a look at that last bucket by Maryland. And you can see she saw Cheyenne Sellers even before she picked her head up for us. Good defense by Faith. Back out to Shoe Pill. And Maryland ends up with the ball. Here comes Sellers. Three on one fast break. Sellers. Oh, a no look pass to Diamond Miller, and she finishes. 94 to 85. Maryland won that one in College Park back in January. Spin move and a bucket plus the foul. That's Faith Masonis on the score for the Terps. Get another look. Uh, maybe Boy. she got the elbow, but not, not much if she did. She struggled through a little bit of lull this season and finding her way as they head into the postseason is big. Abby Myers goes to get that pass. You're gonna see a different look every single possession. And one, Faith Masonis 
baseline out of bounds. Masonis is one of 12 kids in her house, so she understands how to do things. Oh, <laughs>